Hello, everybody, and welcome to OpenEXO Live. It is great to be with you. Evening for me here in Cape Town. And today we have Matteo Pacini, uh, who is in Verona in Italy. Uh, so evening for both of us. And as you can see on the screen there, there are some awesome people coming up in the next couple of weeks. And before we get Matteo up live on screen, I just have a few messages uh, from the OpenEXO community uh, uh, about Matteo. And the first one comes from Luca, and he just said, Matteo is literally leading his nation towards exponential transformation. It is a pleasure working with him. We then have from Mario, I was lucky enough to meet uh, Matteo thanks to the shared experience of founding EXO Italia Group. He knows exponential organizations very well and knows how to manage work groups for exponential digital transformation well. With him, uh, we always push boundaries and talk clearly, great work ethic and constantly focused on adding value to oneself for others. We then have from Sanjay, I met uh, Matteo when I served as a team head coach for the EXO coach training in which he was one of the people undergoing the coach certification training. What impressed me most about Matteo is his humility, curiosity, his genuine care for people, and his focus on empowering people to bring out their true potential. He's passionate about all things digital, VR, AR, AI, etc. And every time I've engaged with him, I've walked away with some new gems of thoughts or alternate ways of looking at things. He has unique perspectives. He lives his passion and dream of hacking life UX for an intelligent human progress. To those listening, you're in for a treat. And then lastly, we have uh, from Francesco. Uh, I had the chance to collaborate with Matteo on a few occasions and have witnessed firsthand his enthusiasm when it comes to the exponential topic and purpose-driven initiatives. He is a true force, a connector by nature, actively contributing to diverse ventures as an advisor and a digital savvy growth expert. He is both dynamic and competent. I would definitely recommend him to any organization. Moreover, he is the founding pillar of the EXO Italian community and a great value for the EXO world. So these are just some messages uh, from community members. So Matteo, uh, good evening to you. Welcome. How are you doing? Hi, guys. Nice to be here. Thank you, Kevin, for having me. And wow, that was quite, uh, I mean, I'm humbled by, by what you, you actually described about me. So, OK, no pressure here. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure at all no pressure. so yes. so Matteo we always start opening EXO Live by asking uh, our guest just to give us a bit of background about yourself so tell us about yourself uh, you know what what you what you've done and what got you into the opening EXO community well um basically I'm a very curious period uh, sorry people so um I've always been um, looking around for new things. Uh, I started with a degree in economics and then I moved into Chinese studies. So I spent seven years in China, I speak Chinese. And of course I was working there as an engineer. So I never managed to do the same thing for too long actually. And this is something that now pays off because I'm, I'm really, let's say, able to, to see and fit different things together. It was quite natural for me to go into innovation and digital transformation for the company, the corporate I was working with, and then to move into also startup and things. And, and of course, once you get there, at some point, nicely, you get exposed to uh, exponential organizations, which is really, really, that have been for me a really important uh, milestone, let's say, in, in really helping me develop a new way, a more scalable way of thinking. Okay, yeah, absolutely. And do ha have you developed your own personal MTP? Well, that's always difficult, but I think it could be improved life UX. And when I say that, I, I do for sure mean like help the, the evolution of companies, of people and stuff. But a kind of evolution that I care most about is really like how we live life. 
which also is, you know, sometimes a very intimate thing. I, I do believe that we suffer a lot for many things. We have a lot of frustrations and then hard times in life and we could really live better. So that's uh, something I, I hope to really, let's say, um, now I, I'm more focused into, you know, creating value around my, what was my core, but I, I hope soon enough, I will really start like larger movements into society and really bringing EXO into something which is uh, even more socially beneficial. Okay, no, absolutely. Now, it was probably over, was it two months ago that we that we ran the EXO Awards and uh, your organization, Guilds42, was one of the winners in the new company category. Uh, can you just share a little bit about like what is Guilds42? What's the thinking behind it? Uh, what are you What are you doing there? Guilds42, for example, is a startup that I co-founded, which is based on the EXO framework entirely. So uh, the idea there was we know society needs to adapt, to change, to grow. And, you know, there is all this talk about upskilling and reskilling of, of the mm. uh, new generations that need to learn something useful for the future and the old ones that need to adapt. So how can you do that and how can you do that at scale? Gills basically empowers everybody, every every single person, let's say, to study for free any kind of, let's say, emerging competence using uh, MOOCs and any kind of, uh, let's say, material which is already available out there. But not only that, we believe that like the name Gills comes from Renaissance. Okay, so the, the, there, back in time, um, you did not have universities, you did not have like consultants. You had people doing things, doers, okay? And they were working in workshops and they were not, I mean, they were not hobbyists just because somebody was paying them for that effort, which is what companies nowadays need. They need people who, who do innovation, not only talk about innovation. So basically this is the kind of bridge we try to build. So we create exponential ecosystems in, in here, uh, providing, let's say, knowledge to some people who can develop that. And on the other side, connecting with companies uh, you know, Italy, 99% of the companies in Italy are small, medium enterprises. So basically it means that the vast majority of the companies here, not only they do not know about like exponential thinking, but they, they, they really are just cut out of everything, basically, you know, and this is a tremendous uh, risk. And as, as I said, it's not only an individual risk for the company itself, but also for the society at large because we risk being just outdated and surpassed by any, anybody else. So this is our attempt, for example, to really make a difference in impacting, let's say, moving forward our society and, and the people in it. Absolutely. And, and that's, yeah, that's, that's really awesome. And, and we'll, we'll definitely speak a bit more about, you know, embracing EXO in Italy, but in, in terms of, in terms of, uh, you know, Guilds 42, how would you say, you know, you're leveraging the the EXO attributes um, uh, as as an example, especially for those out there saying, "Okay, I have a startup. So how should I leverage them?" Yeah. Well, first of all, there is something at the very beginning which is the purpose. So, saying out out clear, out loud, why you do what you do, really, what mm -hmm. moves you, why you wake up every day and you do something which is not, let's say, making you rich by default. You know, <laughs> startups can can take a lot of energy, but not necessarily can can give back as much as in terms of economic value. So why do you do it? And this is this why is not just my personal why. If I say this to other people, we have an NTP, we can connect with other people. And this is what we did. And it's super powerful. It's super nice also because you create high value relationship with other people and other organizations. So this is the first one, NTP. Uh, then, of course, we have stuff on demand because in this model that I described, for sure, I can't be teaching a lot of things, right? I know only know a few of them in vertical ways. So what we do is we engage a lot of partners and they jump in the model. And in order for this to, to work well, you need strong interfaces. So interfaces, they are not only digital, but they are all the kind of protocols and, and procedures that you establish so that the external uh, contributors can help the internal. Imagine Wikipedia, no? Uh, um, so, I mean... This is what we are really working a lot with. And of course, experimentation, I assume every startup probably should at least, you know, embed this. Uh, leveraged assets is another one, maybe is just, just to name the last one, because of course we are able now to do this, 
because we are not producing everything so we can do it at scale yeah no absolutely and and i'm i'm judging by the number of sticky notes behind you there's definitely experimentation happening uh <laughs> even if it's just experimenting in uh in uh internal decor uh, <laughs> and and so 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 what would you say some of the 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 key learnings uh, have, you know, and, and some of the results that you've seen, but the, especially like the key learnings around, you know, really looking at, 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 at you know, thinking EXO, uh, but, and, and in, in terms of implementing this, uh, this model. I don't think overall that making an EXO is so much more difficult than making a normal company. Uh, some, somehow, I mean, it, depending on what you do, but it could be even even easier sometimes because you are not alone, as we said before. Uh, mm. But the result of what you can achieve is, is exponential. So it's really like you put in one and maybe you get out three. So it's totally mm. worth trying to do that. And not only for startups, but I do also as a consultant, you know, for, for normal companies, I try to evolve them. And this kind of thinking can, can be applied everywhere. It's really like a mindset, first of all. And then it becomes a framework, like a tool of designing things. Uh, but then you, you need operational effort. And that is always, you know, tiring, fatiguing. And, uh, and there, what I can say is that really interfaces, I think they are uh, super, super important. Engagement is also super important. At least in our experience, in our case, you know, we have this, we, in, in now one and a half year, we achieved about 2,400 2, people connected in our platform who are studying uh, with us without paying any money, any money for masters or anything else. So we already had a small impact, hopefully on their uh, small, let's say personal, you know, experience. And then they learn something together with us and keeping them engaged. So you might assume that having like this purpose and, and having just a personal benefit out of it would be enough, would be sufficient. But the mm -hmm. truth is that we are so much bombed by any kind of stimulus and stuff that you really need to keep people engaged. And I'm in love with uh, the idea that games can can save the world. You know, uh, I'm thinking about Jane McGonagall and her TED Talk, for example, and how games, they are embedded in our nature. So we can really try and, and, and you know, experiment also in this respect to have people fully committed to something great. No, absolutely. Although, Matteo, I mean, one thing that I know for sure is that, you know, the engagement attribute can be can be quite difficult to to implement because because games are, are are more than just you know the, the parts of the game, right? It's more than the badges and the leaderboards and the stages and the it's it's quite holistic and and unfortunately, a lot of people try and you know think that i'll just add some badges to my to my uh, my program and now i have a game and Absolutely. unfortunately it's not that easy but but it is also not that difficult either i, I would say but it, it definitely takes some 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 thinking there is also like something i care about is that basically the mtp serves you know as the higher purpose the, the longest term loop of satisfaction for people, but you need at least two other levels. The small one, like, you know, you are making a game, you, you make two hits and then, okay, you kill this small guy, but then, you know, you need more. So you need the boss of the yeah. level, for example. So you need this kind of structure also in the, in the satisfaction loops that you create. And this is basically feedbacks, right? Yes. One, one big difference in real life, in work life and in games is that you actually do something and, and you know immediately if what you did is good or not. So this is important. Mm. And this is strongly connected to autonomy for me as well, which is another aspect of, of this EXO model that I really, really care about. I don't think that EXO is only for being smart, which is, of course, but it's also for being good. And, and one of the ways we need to, to improve is really how we organize ourselves when we work together. So I, I'm also really in love with all this uh, new emerging, you know, models of, of organizing, yes. of doing things together, which, by the way, are also more efficient. Yes, no, absolutely, and you know, giving giving people the the autonomy to to make decisions, not not that can make or break things necessarily, but 
that that really changes a culture with within an organization and i think that that can change a culture even within like a region or a you know we we all live passively often in cities and and give all our our um our power away to you know perhaps the government or the municipality or but if if we actually took autonomy and and we empowered ourselves i i definitely think we'd we'd have um a much better world. Now that conversation could could get us a little bit off track because I want to speak to you about EXO Italia. Um, so can you can you uh, share a little bit more with those who are watching, especially those who you know are are in a region somewhere where they're saying, "Man, I wish I wish our our EXO community could could get uh, you know more integrated." Uh, tell us about EXO Italia and 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 what what you're doing there. With pleasure. So just referring to what you were saying before, you know, everybody likes being autonomous and being empowered, but this means being more responsible. <laughs> so it means also, you know, that you are not just the last guy saying, okay, I have nothing to do with that, but you have to take part. And this is basically what I also try always to, to bring with myself when I create things, when I organize things. And this is what we did with the group in Italy. So we were a bunch of friends, just, you know, not even friends, just a bunch of people that kind of like we're, we're there together at some extra event and maybe we had a shared interest or some other level of connection that we did not know at all at the very beginning. So what we started yes. to do is uh, get to know each other. So without any clear, let's say, target, without any specific organization and stuff, but we, ke we kept going and we kept so de developing the, the quality of the relationships that we had. We, had. we have a nice group of people in Italy now. And, and we really have a lot of different expertise and we are now doing things together, which is another completely a game, a game changer, you know, when, when you start doing things together. So you get to know each other on a different level. And especially now we have, we have our dreams, we have our targets, we have our vision, our architecture, we have our, we worked a lot on, the, on our identity. So why we as a group want to do what we do? which is not like I, I happen to be the, 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 the coordinator, the leader of, of the group, uh, because I just spent so much more time there and always, you know, trying to push the ball uh, further and further. And, and people yes. just appreciated that I never um, imposed any of my view. Um, but I think really we need this kind of approach to, to, to have people working together and we can do something so much better. So I'm also very grateful, as you know, Kevin, that we started this discussion from HQ and, and the region uh, because we, we can and we should try to push this to a next level of cooperation within us and especially the impact we can achieve together. Uh, first of all, we started in Italy, but now, I mean, if we can do it globally, that's that's so much stronger. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's 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 it is really exciting to see how you know regionally there there are a number of 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 sort of communities that have formed EXO communities whether it's in Latin America and uh, you know a, 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 actually across Africa there's this interesting group and in in the German speaking regions in Europe and um, and in the Philippines, there's 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 quite a lot, and in in New Zealand, a bunch of people who are just meet that, that you know meeting regularly, um, and and you know the, the the one thing that I love about um, about any sort of EXO solution that takes place, whether it's a workshop or a sprint or something, is the fact that it's it's usually multinational, right? It's usually uh, a coach from this region and an advisor from that region and and you know, and it's it, it it is quite magical, um, and super excited about about what's happening there in Italy. I know that uh, at you you guys have developed an MTP that that for your group, but obviously it's a view for the country. Is that is that what it is? What does it look like? It is, and let me add one thing that I did not explicit before, but I think it's important. The, the EXO group in Italy is not made out of people who got all the certification mm. and it's not a group made for business only. I mean, now we are moving into business also, but I think it's very important that we spend so much time together. And the reason why we, do, we did that is that we really shared a vision and a sensibility about what we want to happen in, in Italy first, you know, because we are here and, and this is our country, our home. So we have to do something about it. 
a lot of people in the community, they have been attracted, you know, even brought by other people or engaged with webinars. Uh, we are doing so, we, we are creating awareness on the model, on the mindset. Uh, we, we have labs to, to study and research and go deeper on things. Uh, we are trying to create new formats to democratize the, this, this, let's say, consultancy and, and, and impact on the small enterprises. So we are really mm -hmm. trying to do things. And, and this brought in a lot of new people. And these new people, as I, as I was saying before, is not there only to be smart. They are there also to be good. I know it's very yeah. naive the way I say this, but it's, it's simple enough. So uh, it's clear what I mean. And so the MTP, what we want to foster is really a, an evolution. Uh, so a better future, let's say, for not only uh, in terms of, uh, um, in Italian, sorry, I'm, I'm translating this. Uh -oh. I'm translating this, it's um, we want to grow economically and socially. Okay, so this okay, social yeah. part, as I told you before, it's really important to all of us. And, and it's making the difference, I, I think. If it was only, you know, that hey, let's group together so we can sell more sprints, that's totally fine. It's totally legitimate. We also wish we can do that. Uh, but for example, we are discussing how should we treat in terms of values the customers we work with. If this is wired into our way of living how hard do we want to be on their way of management of their behavior and stuff like that so yes. i think this is a strength uh, all the people that, that that are in the community are really lovely and i, I share with them a strong passion to, to really build something authentic yeah absolutely i mean that's 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 really awesome to hear and 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 in, to, in terms of in terms of the way you 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 currently sort of structure your yourselves and and organize yourselves like how, like how often are you meeting and what are you doing you know for those who are watching saying i want to do this in 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 my sort of country or region well first of all if somebody wants to key, to to get in touch feel free to do that you you can have my just go into linkedin find me and uh, i'm totally up to you know just uh, share anything and and I'm no expert, by the way. I mean, it, it <laughs> did happen, it ha it's happening, but it's, it's not something. What it takes is a will to do it, persistence, because we've been going for almost two years now. Okay, so yeah. uh, since the very first meetup, we were there, we say, oh, nice to meet each other. Okay, we were maybe seven people. And then we say, okay, what, what happens now? Now, nothing. <laughs> and then they started <laughs> saying, why don't we just talk with each other, you know? And then we started to do things and we meet every week so we have a one and a half hour basically every every week but then we have panels we have groups of people doing different things also so we mm. now organized in five uh, five groups so there is a consultancy there is a training there is this uh the media or or yeah let's call it media i, mm. I, I copied that for you kevin yeah 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 <laughs> uh, media that's perfect yeah <laughs> and we have the community and uh, and the labs so this okay. is an ecosystem. What we are trying to do is, is yes. really creating an ecosystem where everybody can also find their own angle. It's important, right? I mean, if I want to do business, but I like you and I share the values of it, why should I push you and try to, to have you doing something else which you don't care about? It's, it's totally yes. Okay. yes. We, we try to guarantee freedom, but also structure to the, to the way we organize things together. Awesome. I'm. I, I am really excited about it. Uh, in in 2019, I was I was in Italy, so I was in 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 Milano and in Florence and in Rome, and unfortunately, I didn't get to Verona or Venice or or uh, Pisa or so many of the amazing places that there are in Italy. So so definitely have to come back. But uh, uh, really excited to see how how. You know, e EXO can be implemented in those, you know, in those small and medium businesses. Um, I actually have have written an article for EXO Insights. It should come out next week, I think, where um, where I actually uh, show how you can implement uh, the the all the attributes in a micro business, like a corner bakery type of size of business, uh, because funny. it's possible. Um, it it absolutely is possible, uh, and so. So actually, I've just looked at the time, and uh, we we need to uh, bring this to a conclusion. And so, you know, what would you like to share as sort of a final remark as we as we close out uh, uh, OpenXO Live today? 
Wow, that's difficult. I think I want to share something. What the things I've learned more recently is that uh, I really suggest to connect with Kevin and try and see if he can share any value with you at all, which starts by something simple, which I also ignored. I shame on me. Uh, there are so many things that they, these guys already did. And, and they also try to communicate with, with me, with us, with everybody, but it's not easy. So yeah. uh, a small, simple tip might just be, you know, Kevin is, is not, I mean, not always so nice, but you, mean, you can try, okay? <laughs> try him. <laughs> you can try him and yeah, just get connected and see what you can leverage because there is already a lot of things out there. Uh, yeah. At, at very least, it can bring you personally some some upgrade on what, if you care about EXO, and and maybe it can also help you really you know create and, and empower the, the place you are, especially if you have if you are lucky enough to to find nice people like I did, you know, find other people that really care about the development of where you live in in, in all the ways that we discuss. So I mean, you need yeah. economic growth. Otherwise, if you don't have jobs, if you then uh, don't have money. Then, uh, things become harder and harder, so th that's possible and should be done. But also, you should co be concerned about uh, how we, as human beings, live our lives, and uh, it starts by us anyway. So, I think this is this is my suggestion. Just try to try to do something. Don't get stuck. Absolutely, Matteo. It's been fantastic speaking to you. Uh, I will be chatting to you sometime soon. I know. Uh, I'm sure we have something planned in the coming weeks, but. Great chatting to you and uh, we'll chat to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you all. It was great to be here and please connect if you will. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. So that was Matteo uh, Pacini in Verona in Italy. Uh, always uh, great chatting to Matteo. And as as he was saying, you know, they've they've been able to pull together a community uh, in, in across Italy looking at a number of different aspects and how they can be implementing EXO, uh, you know, in, in, in more ways uh, uh, across the country. So uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will see you all again next week.